All right, folks, a lot of you guys wanted to know, obviously, about the new Makita XGT 40 and 80 volt new platform that will be available within weeks for you to purchase. Obviously, available for pre order, okay, um, at certain retailers, okay, um, or at least I think so. And a lot of people have asked if Home Depot is going to sell this stuff. From what I was told by a pretty reliable source is, yes, they will. All right. But let's go over some of the prices here. All right. Um, a lot of people were thinking that these were really going to be much, much more expensive. And again, I, I think Makita is smart here. You know, we've seen, obviously, Milwaukee go up to a 28-volt platform that basically was a disaster. Uh, DeWalt, you know, we all know about the Flex Vault, which is, you know, I wouldn't say, you know, a bombshell by any means, but still hanging on, still going forward slowly. But I, I think people are grasping to it a little bit, all right, with the whole dual batteries. I don't know how I feel about that, but it's definitely, you know, a lot of people with this Makita 40 volt platform when this was announced over a year ago, I think my first video was like 13, 14 months ago on this. That's really how long it took it to get it off the ground. Obviously, it's been in Japan for about a year, you know, Australia, uh, East, but you know, a lot of the complaints were that these tools were not going to be compatible like the Flex Vault. And, you know, they didn't have any interest in it. Things have kind of changed a little bit. Um, again, that was what we were hearing a lot a year ago, 13 months ago, whenever. Um, you know, it's not that big of a deal. All right, because this is something that Makita fans... Makita users can slowly get into at an, a pretty affordable price. I mean, again, if you look at some of this stuff, um, you know, you're running the 18 volt rear handle circular saw. Now we know there's been crazy hacks with that and they're giving free batteries for the past year, year and a half. But, you know, 239 for a rear handle circular saw. I mean, that's cheaper than Milwaukee's bare rear handle circular saw. All right. Um, you look at some of these kits, you know, $379 for a brushless resip battery, charger, and bag. All right. Um, circular saw, seven and a quarter inch. You know, you're getting the batteries with it. Um, I think they're well priced, guys. Um, like I said, going strictly battery wise, you know a lot about this stuff, and you know about the internals, and you know, you know about the XGT, right? Can handle a lot of different conditions, whether it's dust, dirt, rain, weather, water, whatnot. Um, but the batteries, again, they're not monstrous, okay? Now, again, if you guys remember the M28 Milwaukee batteries, these are 36-volt batteries that Makita have here, all right? They say 40-volt, really 36. But these things are smaller than the M28 batteries. That just kind of goes to show you, you know, technology how it's changed. You know, the M28 platform came out, I don't know, seven, eight, nine years ago. And the big problem with that platform was, you know, batteries were just heavy and they were expensive and they were brushed. But, you know, what you have to understand, guys, is again, the two and a half amp hour battery is basically a five 18 volt and the four is basically an eight amp hour battery. So these are not, you know, huge batteries, you know, like the Ego 56, like the Ryobi 40 volt. Um, 
you know, try to get that out of your head. Um, but I, I think it's an easy transition for the Makita fan to kind of get into this. Now, yes, your 18-volt batteries are not going to, you know, work with this stuff. But, again, you're going to have, you know, a lot of different options. Uh, circular saw. Um, I mean, you got one, two, three. You got a kit available. All right. Um Rear handle with an actual nice side handle there. But Recip 229. All right. Obviously, I'd go with the kit. Obviously, I think it's worth the extra 150 bucks. But, you know, we know the Super Sawzall, 249 bucks. All right. Now, I do not believe this has orbital action. All right. But. Again, we'll talk about some of this, these tools individually some more, all right? But I just want to let you know some of the pricing is out on these, okay? Not too much. You got nine tools here. We obviously know there's impact drivers and hammer drills, and I just did a video yesterday. There's OPE tools. You know, there's an X2 all right, so kind of going to have an 80 volt where you're going to be able to put two of these 40 volt batteries on some SDS rotary hammer drills and maybe a lawnmower. Who knows? But very surprised at the pricing. I, I don't think it's anything, you know, too crazy. And again, if the 18 volt rear handle circular saw is working for you, fine out, out in the field. You can get them real cheap right now. There's no need to go to this. But again, if you want an SDS, right, with a little bit more pop, all right? If you want whatever, maybe a, a, a hammer drill with a little bit more power, you know, that's what you're probably going to get out of this Makita XGT stuff, all right? And again, for the homeowner, not really... I mean, listen, if it gets cheap enough, you want a quality tool. That That's what's happened in the tool industry is the competition. And competition is always good. And it only seems to be getting better because it seems like there's companies every day that are starting tool lines. So well, here's some. I'll put this link below if you want to take a look at some of these. Uh, prices again not available as of yet for pre-order should be very soon and hopefully they'll have the rest of this xgt line out and we'll talk about more but we'll catch you all right i got some other stuff here uh 199 for the four amp hour battery all right charger only 34.99 Okay, now this is the adapter, okay? Um, your 2.5 amp hour battery, 149, and your rapid charger, 119, all right? So again, obviously, you kind of want to buy these in the kits, all right? Now, I think this stuff is available for pre-order, all right? So the saws that we just covered, the recip saws, um, not available yet for pre-order, but all this stuff here will be, okay? Now, here's your 18-volt LXT adapter for XGT chargers, okay? So, you're going to be able to slide this on your new 40-volt rapid charger and charge 18-volt batteries, which is, you know, again, a nice transition, okay? Um, here's some kits again, 379. We talked about that. You couldn't pre-order it over there, but I guess you can here. So 379, again, I think Makita makes some of the best bags out there. So, um, you know, you're getting a real nice bag and, you know, you're getting the big four amp hour battery. So you got to remember that $199. And remember, real quick, the charger as well is 149 bucks. So you're getting that. 
you definitely, definitely want to get the kit. Okay? Um, I'm interested in the impact driver. Well, here's your 40-volt flashlight, which is basically identical to your 12-volt, 18-volt, and now 40-volt light. Here is your, I'll tell you, I, I can't believe, well, you get two batteries. I was going to say, I can't believe the impact driver kit is more money than the recip saw kit. But here, obviously, you're getting two batteries. Now, I would think these are the 2.5s, but I could be wrong. You got auto mode, four speed. All right, it offers nine modes. Okay, so you got a four speed right low medium high auto and then you've got a variety of other modes for other applications including two tightening modes one assist mode and three forward and three reverse stop modes so you're really seeing and the, seeing the, the technology now <laughs> um kind of crazy here Yep, you get two twenty two point five amp hour batteries. All right, so you do get a four, a bigger one, with the recip, but they're also going to be able to charge these batteries in twenty eight minutes. All right, so again, you're basically charging a five amp hour, you know, eighteen volt battery in twenty eight minutes. So this 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 you know. And you're going to have 1,950 inch-pounds of torque. And I'm pretty sure you're going to be pretty accurate with this. I would love to put this up against the Milwaukee. Now, the Milwaukee's 2,000. But, you know, again, this, the brushless that is $99 during the holidays has beaten a lot of impact drivers rated with higher, you know, torque numbers. Obviously, Ryobi and Rigid. Um, so this would actually be a really nice test that we, we might have to do. And obviously, I just want to feel it. Because obviously, I think they make the best 18-volt impact drivers. And again, there's really no need for this if your 18-volt is, you know, working fine, right? Your, what is it, the XTZ-16D, right? Um, you know, that's up to you. Uh, hammer drill kit 389. All right, you got a drill driver kit for 329. They got a couple nice complete kits 639. You're gonna get the circular, the impact, the hammer drill, and a light for 639. For ten dollars more, you're gonna get the same exact thing, except you're gonna get a recip saw instead of a circular saw. Um, here's your big boys over here. This is your forty volt, okay, demolition hammer kit. Here's your drill driver kit, three forty nine. Here's your impact. All right. Nice, compact, all right, four speed, half inch, probably got extra modes as well, three forward and three reverse auto stop modes, so, you know, close to the nine modes that the impact driver has, 200, you know, again, this really has the same torque as their new 18 volt, right? The compact you can get for $99 with the Makita to a boss hack. You can still get it now. So 465 nut busting, 260 fastening. I'm gonna be a little bit longer video. I apologize. What if they have any of the 80 volt stuff out? We talked about that, 229. Here's your other rotary hammers. All right, 729 for your 40 volt. One and one eighths, then you got a one and nine sixteenths. <laughs> okay, $829, but an absolute beast. All right, here's your rear handle kit. Again, it's really, you know, I think that Makita 
its normal price was three ninety nine before we saw the price go down to two forty nine. You got to remember, I believe Bear Tool, the eighteen, well, the X two thirty six volt rear handle was around two ninety nine when it first came out. All right. Now, obviously, again, major price reductions, but you know, three ninety nine and pretty good price. All right. And here is their bigger bad boy. This is a three quarter. All right. So this is no playing around here. All right. April 21st, ready for pre order. And we're looking at 1,510 pounds of nut busting torque. But look at the um, fastening torque, guys. That is crazy, right? With the Milwaukee's 1,000 tightening, 1,400 nut busting. But you're getting 1330. Now, again, this is a three quarter, all right? Now, obviously, Milwaukee offers a three quarter as well. I think they even offer a one inch. But anyway, you got a lot of new XGT tools for the Makita fan to, again, slowly work into if need be. And again, the customer, the consumer is going to decide the fate of this XGT 40 volt platform. We'll have to see. All right, folks. Peace, peace, peace.